Um, I honestly have never seen more irresponsible parenting in my entire life. Hey bitch, and welcome back to another video of me talking about people I hate. What? Who the fuck is that? Interrupting my video, thank you very much. So since my last video, a lot of people have been sending me so many videos of horse attacks, wanting me to analyze the horse attacks, why the horse is attacked, just really going over horse behavior more, especially aggressive horse behavior, because I feel like a lot of it is misconstrued, misunderstood. A lot of people really like to villainize horses, and this is a huge problem within the industry because this is one of the reasons why you hear terms like dangerous horse or bad horse or naughty horse or even marish. Marish is such a, <laughs> a terrible thing on so many levels. I cringe so hard whenever I hear people say terms like, oh, your horse is being marish or my horse is marish when the horse is actually in pain and exhibiting signs of pain. But whenever it's a female horse, no one cares. <sighs> so that side rant out of the way, I have a collection slash compilation of horse attacks that we're gonna go over today and analyze. I have not seen any of these. So this is going to be my first time actually watching them. I just know that they're horse attacks from the titles. Wow. Okay. Wow. I have honestly um, never seen a horse that aggressive. This horse is even more aggressive than the horse that we talked about in my last video. I'm not trying to be that person. However, this video is obviously filmed in Mexico. And as we know, the main style of Mexican riding is charro riding. And this definitely looks like in Andalusian, which are the majority of charro horses that are used. Really the only times where you see animals exhibit this aggressive of a behavior or response is usually in a fight or flight situation. So for example, in the wild, you would see a wild stallion exhibit this level of aggression when they're presented with a fight or flight situation, like someone's cornering them, someone's threatening them, or they're herd, etc. or maybe it's a predator. This horse is, in my opinion, exhibiting the same response. He might be a domestic horse, but this horse very clearly was either abused or being cornered or treated in some way where the horse found the owner threatening. And it seems like I'm not the only one who thinks that this horse was abused, uh, according to the comment section. Since the horse didn't kill the guy, because horses can kill people, and I think that's something that people don't realize. If a horse wants to kill you, it will. So, okay, horses are 1,200 pound plus animals. And a 1,200 pound animal can kill you with their own body weight. So I think that it's important for people to realize the fact that this horse got off of the guy shows that I don't think the horse was trying to kill him. I think that the horse was trying to teach him a lesson and just be like, listen, I'm on top. Like, you're not going to push me around. You're not going to abuse me. Just given the circumstances of the situation and the fact that this is most likely a charro horse, 
this horse probably just had enough and was like, listen, I'm sick of you whipping me. I don't want to participate in your bullshit. Every person who I know who's ever been attacked by horses was not a nice person to their horse. And I'm being totally honest. I don't know. I don't know. Um, I honestly have never seen more irresponsible parenting in my entire life. I think I've seen that video before. What were you thinking? This is literal instant karma. Obviously, it's horrible that the little girl was injured, but this is like entirely the parent's fault. Why, first of all, would you let a child walk unaccompanied up to a massive horse especially a mare with a baby. This is a mom with her foal who clearly doesn't want to be bothered and showed multiple signs of that. These parents thought it was cute to just like let their daughter walk up to a massive horse that's protecting its baby. Why? I mean, this is like such a, a severe lack of parenting. This is literally, in my eyes, the equivalent of leaving your child locked in a hot car. And, and that kid probably has a couple of broken bones because of that. <laughs> if this was my horse, and some random ass parents let their child walk up to my horse, unaccompanied without asking me, I would be livid. I would be absolutely livid. These horses don't belong to these people, and that's very obvious. So why are you going up to other people's animals? Why are you putting your daughter at risk? The whole situation is just crazy, and these parents should honestly get the award for the worst parents in the history of parents, because holy sh Horses are not just these super friendly, cuddly animals like what people think. Sometimes horses don't want to be around you and you just need to accept that. Like animals have boundaries just like humans do. Respect their boundaries, okay? <sighs> I swear to God, sometimes I really think about if 99% of the humans that do stupid shit like this were alive 200 or 300 years ago, they would have died. I mean, people who are this dumb just don't, they don't last that long in the real world. Wow. Uh, okay, let me watch that one more time. Okay. So many questions, okay? I have so many questions. First of all, why the hell is your aisle so small? Why? I, I don't understand why the walkway is like a foot across. It's like a foot wide. Why is the walkway so damn small? I don't understand that. The horse can't even turn around. He, he could barely turn around. He's like squished. Stop stalling horses, please. Stalling your horses is so bad for them. It causes so many behavioral issues, so many health issues. It's just not good for horses. And people who stall their horses are projecting their own wants and feelings and emotions onto their animal, pretending like stalling is the right thing to do. It's not. Horses require space, herds, grazing, exercise. Horses require being out in the open and just being able to run and graze and have a herd dynamic. That's what's the best for them. It's healthiest. It's going to keep them in the best shape mentally and physically. So no, I don't believe in stalling horses. And if you are in a situation where you have to stall your horse, like for example, when I lived in Southern California, there was no such thing as pasture board. Therefore, whenever I lived there, Link was in the biggest area that I could possibly get for him, which was a stall with a massive run. And he also had daily turnout into a big, massive like turnout area for as much as possible. So if you can't 
put your horse in a full-time pasture or big paddock like what Link has now, you need to be giving your horse the most space possible, the most turnout possible, the most exercise possible. Otherwise, you are being a very negligent and neglectful horse owner, and you are not providing the horse with the adequate life that they need. And I'm sorry, I know that sounds harsh, but it's honestly true. Typically, when you see horses in stalls that are behaving in this way, it's usually because they are frustrated and they're locked up in a stall. It's very rare that you see horses that are out in pasture or paddocks lunging at people like this or chasing people. It usually only occurs with horses that are locked up in stalls, that are frustrated, that don't get enough exercise, they develop behavioral problems as a result of that. So I, I honestly think that this horse probably is doing this because he's frustrated. Maybe he doesn't like the other horse that was walking by. I don't know, maybe he doesn't like the girl for a particular reason. Horses do have good memories. So sometimes when horses don't like people because they've been treated in a really shitty way, they will eventually lash out at you. However, I think the most likely scenario here is this horse has behavioral issues because he's locked up in a stall and he's frustrated. And he just so happened to take his anger out on that girl as he was walking or as she was walking by his stall. Most people who regularly work at barns forget that they need to be paying attention to their surroundings. When you're working with 1,200 pound animals, you can't just be walking around the barn all nonchalant, not really caring about what's happening or paying attention. Or even I see people listening to music with their earbuds and shit, just like totally unaware of their surroundings. And that honestly is a very dangerous thing. I think it's important that when you're working with animals, even animals that you trust, you still need to be aware of your surroundings, especially when everything could go south within a matter of a millisecond. So it's important to be aware of your surroundings, know what horses are around you, how everyone's behaving, pay attention to horses that you are walking by or towards. Because if she had been paying attention, she would have easily noticed that this horse was very agitated and was pinning his ears and looked like he was going to bite her or the other horse. Now, I don't blame her for the kick because the, the horse that she was leading kicked her. That was probably just because she freaked him out. Biggest issue of the entire video, what the fuck is going on with your walkway? Girl, I swear to God, it's literally like two feet wide and that is totally unacceptable for a horse barn. If you take anything away from this video, obviously treat horses right, but please don't stall your horses because the majority of times, and I've talked to so many of my friends about this because it's true, and people don't talk about this enough, but 99% of the time, if your horse has an issue, behaviorally, physically, whatever, and they're locked in a stall 24 seven or for the majority of the day, apart from one hour of turnout or two hours or whatever, it's almost definitely 110% because of the fact that your horse is locked in a stall. I have seen horses literally overnight transform into a completely different horse when they are out in full-time turnout pasture or they have a big paddock to run around. They literally transform into a completely different horse. So please stop confining your horses to tiny spaces. They need to be horses. Anyway, you guys, I love you so much. Thank you so much for joining me for this video. Don't forget to check out Patreon if you wanna watch extra horse content. And also our new merch is out on raleighlink.com. Plus I've got a couple new businesses coming soon, so I'll keep you posted for that. But I love you and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.